we go. Scheduled for eight, Salida in the black and white trunks. James Waker in the all red trunks. He's from Wisconsin, lives on a Native American reservation there. And nice. I've always been of the belief that, that Salida's best weapon just might be his jab. We didn't see a lot of it last time on the Jewish Channel because he was fighting the Southpaw. Right. This time, that would be a more important weapon, wouldn't it? Oh, for sure. Well, I was actually just about to comment. I was going to say that he's, uh, he's actually starting faster than he did in the last fight. I was a little hesitant early on, and I think he lost the first round of the last fight. But uh, his jab, you know, what we've seen thus far is, is dictating things. James Wake, a little bit more of a boxer and a mover than a puncher. And as John Scully said, big difference in Salida's approach. Last time out, he was in with a southpaw, and he got hit by that left hand of the southpaw a few times. And this time, he's in the pocket, and he's ready to fight. And actually, if my memory serves me correct, and I've known Dimitri since he was about 14 years old, and I think physically this is probably the best I've seen him. Um, his body looks looks better. I thought he looked slightly soft the, the last time. He looks a little bit more defined. Um, you know, maybe that, that has uh, something to do with the fact that he's starting a little quicker. And uh, that body can be explained by the fact... That's Salida, and he, he's yeah, been training really nice the famed, punch combination there. He's been training at the famed Kronk Gym, getting great sparring. Hasn't found the range yet fully with that right hand. You see Waka trying to counter punch. He's dropping his left hand. He's dropping his left hand. And double left hook to the body. Waka says the second one was low. If Salida's best weapon is his jab, his body punching is probably his second best yep, you're weapon. Yep, exactly right. He is, uh, actually, in the last fight, I remember he impressed me. He, numerous times he doubled up, if you remember. He doubled up on the hook to the body, which I, I very rarely have seen from anyone. And if those are Salida's strengths, his weakness has been getting hit by right hands. So far, it hasn't been a problem. Tonight, Waka hasn't really thrown too many. A relatively quiet first round. Put it in the books for Salida. Yeah, a little cut on this side. Don't worry, look. Keep pumping that jab the way you're doing it. And keep, when you go to the body, keep the hand up. You go in with your hand. You got me? That was a beautiful round. Keep pushing that jab, man. You're doing a nice job with the jab. All right, but double it up sometimes. No shoot the right hand over his head. Bring it down to his chest. You gotta come back with something, okay? You don't throw two punches. I need three or four punches like he did, okay? Open up with the right hand, both on the top, okay? Come on, man. Keep him out of bed. Don't, don't flog with him. And you see the distance between them here in the first round. This, this first round, John, was fought at a, at a comfortable distance, no in fighting. And, uh,. I think Waka needed that round to get into the fight. Sure, sure. The, the first round oftentimes is the toughest round of any fight. Just for the fact that the guys are tense, and especially him go. fighting in his opponent's hometown. James Waka, definitely an experienced fighter. He's had 26 pro fights. As an amateur, he was a pretty good amateur. Fourth Floyd Mayweather, Fernando Vargas. And Dimitri Salida told me the way in that he remembers Waka when they were in the Junior Olympics together. So Waka hasn't has been matched kind of tough. He's been stopped a bunch of times. There you go. But he's definitely fought some tough opposition. He fought Jose Luis Castillo, who he was stopped by. Castillo's a former world champion who's, who's fought Floyd Mayweather twice. And I see some blood as they both recoil from a butt. I see some blood on the left side of Salida's 
eye. I, I think he's cut. Yeah. And I think that happened before this butt. Because right, I yeah. saw him mark. Yeah, he got butt on top of the head. Nice right hand by Salida. It'll be interesting to see because of that cut whether Salida accelerates now. Come back with that hook, baby. With the body. Watch your head. But there is definitely a cut at the corner of Salida's left eye, and the blood is beginning to show. Now, this is unexpected. And, uh, oh, left nice hook to the body. Shot. Single shot by Salida, and you see Wake Up. Somewhat of a delayed reaction, often the case. And I don't see a count. He said it was a low blow. Referee that, rules low. That's right. That was a body shot. That was definitely a body shot. It looked like, it looked like a clean shot the to ref me, too, John. One, two, baby. There you go. Caught and again. Salida right back with a left hook to the body. I think Weka has shown a weakness. And Salida's going to go there. And there it is again. Hook to the body, and this time, field counts. Well, Wake is going to make it through this knockdown, but uh, you know Salida is going to go right back to that hook to the body. Yeah, yeah, come on. Stick, stick. Don't wait. Salida very poised. There it is. There you go. And smart move by Salida. Takes advantage of the fact that Wake is expecting the body shot, throws a hook, and a right hand by Salida rocks Wake up. Boy, it's target practice now for Salida, and I'm sure with that cut, he wouldn't mind ending this fight rather, rather quickly. I'm, I'm impressed. Dimitri's taking his time and really picking his shots. He's making them count. Now that he's got his opponent a little shaky, he's making the shots count, which is a mark of a seasoned fighter. Just like that. Double left hook. Wake it down for the second time. Showing the pain, and he doesn't look like he's long for this fight. Let's see if Waka makes it out of the second round. There have been two knockdowns. He's been down three times. The bell saves him there. Yo, you let him off the hook, man. That's when you hit him. Every time you hit him for the body hurt, but you got to come off that jab. That jab is beautiful. Why are you standing in front of him? Go stand in front of him. That's why you cut him with the body shot. Move! You understand what I'm saying, sir? Move! Move! Don't stand in front of him. If you hit him with the body shot, move! Okay, box the guy, man. Come on. You down two rounds, man. Got you, baby. Come on. You got me or show me, okay? I need you to box the fuck out. Hit this guy with combinations, man. And move. So stay there. Got you, got you. Come on, man. Come on. Now, we're going to see Dimitri looking, constantly looking for the body shots here. Now, there's a good head shot. Nice left hook to the body. He's, he's found a home for it all night. All right, we go to round three, and judging by what happened in round two, it's not going to be a surprise if Salida closes the show here. He said working at Kronk, he worked on that right hand. He gets hit with a counter right there. He's a little, a little sloppy in the attacking there. He, he might have been a little excited. Trying to go for the night. I think I'm sure he's thinking he senses that 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 knockout victory. I'm sure he wants to get it. There you go. James Wake has been stopped seven times against good opposition. And boy, you could feel the pain. You can <laughs> I'll tell you, I've never seen you rarely see a guy show pain on his face the way this guy is. I mean he's he's feeling he's not faking it. I mean he's feeling the effects of these shots. Deadly body, deadly. Right hand on the top. Come on, James, come on. Well, to Salida's credit, he found a weakness. He found it quickly in the fight, and he's taking full advantage of it. And that's a tough thing for Wake. For the rest of this fight, he's always just going to be waiting for that hammer to drop. Counter left to the body by Salida. You see Wake bending at the knees to try to protect, dropping that. So now Wake is cut on the right eye. Bad cut at the top of the brow, the, the, the outside of the brow. Of uh, left hook to the liver. Wake dripping blood, goes down to one knee. I'll give him a lot of credit if he could make it out of this round. Well, now Wake has got two things to worry about. Salida's left hook and the blood dripping. That's it. And my guess is one more knockdown. And that's a low left oh. hand and a right hand up top. Sure enough, one more knockdown and that's it. 
It's over, David Fields calls it. Just before that right hand to the chin, I saw a low blow by Salida. Referee didn't call it. He followed it with the right to the chin. Boom, that was it. Come in. Now we see, this looks like the end. Um, Dimitri, I'm, I'm sure he was sensing the end coming up quickly. And uh, he keeps going back to that body, and, and uh, what a wicked right hand. He did a smart thing, he got him, he diverted his attention with the body shots, and he opened him up for the right hand to the head. Bushak was out of the ring. Three seconds into round number three, your winner by TKO.